Yo, what is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another video on F1 2021. I've seen recently on my last few videos, I think it was the no line versus racing line video, that you guys would like to see a tutorial or some kind of tips and tricks video regarding how to turn off the racing line, what to look out for, how to accelerate the process of transitioning from no line to uh, from racing line to no line and this video should give you a little insight into what i think should be helpful for everyone out there especially i mean i've been using racing line as well when i was just a casual player on controller back in the days and at some point i switched it off and i had to get used to it so uh, i was in the same boat as many of you out there um so feel encouraged you will get it uh it's just a matter of getting used to and let's get right into it so First thing you want to do is, I mean, most people would probably talk of a corner in probably four or five different points, which is first one, the breaking point, which is the start of the whole process. And it's a really important one. It's the point where you focus on your corner performance. Usually you do that already before, but that's when the actual cornering starts because um, the deceleration process determines how much speed you carry into a corner and out of a corner. If you slow down too much, you might hit the corner too early and you mess up. If you hit it too late, you compromise your exit. So you kind of need to twist it a bit and find the right balance. And that's a lot of, well, let's just say, try and error. And it's the same for everyone. Even in real racing, the real drivers, you can see them usually at the beginning of the weekend, free practice, struggling a tiny bit. They are still used to it from um, the simulators, from the factories. But in general, they are struggling more than at the end of the weekend where they kind of know where to break what to do um yeah this whole dynamic also changes depending on track state and fuel load setup and all of these things but in general you will find your own personal breaking points okay and we are gonna have a look at that then the second point is turning point where you start turning sometimes that is actually before the breaking point in some corners let's say um probably suzuka turn one is a good one and turn two you probably turn before you break you have to otherwise you do something wrong there so not every single corner goes by breaking point turning and so on and so on sometimes it's actually turning and then breaking uh, but in most cases let's say 90 percent of the corners in formula one or in general in racing start with breaking and then turning the third point is probably the most important one it's the corner apex and the corner apex is the let's say middle of the corner and the perfect point where you don't lose too much speed by turning and you still carry a lot of momentum throughout the corner so you want to hit that corner apex and find that corner apex where you perfectly cut as much as you can or like available you are as close to the inside as possible whilst minimizing speed loss and already like opening the corner exit and usually the corner apex is where you want to start accelerating again in most cases sometimes it's a bit delayed let's say spa um, turn one the hairpin sometimes if you don't hit the angle perfectly you don't like it's not like millisecond perfect where you accelerate from the apex but in a perfect scenario you would even there uh, so kind of you can see the corner apex as your point where you start accelerating and opening up the steering wheel which also makes me get to point number four which is accelerating the acceleration point where you start going on the throttle again to um, maximize the corner exit. But um, I think those things, I've usually, when I've looked up on YouTube back in the days, how to learn, how to break, breaking points, blah, 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 all these things like perfecting the racing line, I felt that was quite a bit overwhelming when you are either new without racing line, if you just like start racing now and you turn it off, or if you actually have the racing line and you want to make that transition from racing line to no racing line. But I think for most people out there, it will be a bit overwhelming when you're going fast on track, even if that's without G-forces, just on your simulator. It is crucial to kind of not overthink everything. You want to keep racing as simple as possible. I always say racing is steering, gas, and braking. So throttle and braking. That's it. And maybe your gear shifts, but that's it. I want to keep it as simple as possible. So you can focus on these things and then go into the detail. You know, the detailing is probably just the final couple of percent, but the most stuff in racing is down to the basics, mastering the basics. And um, that's the thing that most people 
don't understand and also ask the esports drivers or professional racing drivers how to improve big time focus on the basics my biggest tip all right um but that's another story so we are just gonna uh, talk today about two points and that is the breaking point that is the corner apex i think you, you shouldn't focus on anything more than these two points Braking and corner apex because with the braking you start the deceleration process and sometimes you already turn before you brake so it's kind of becoming natural and you just need to focus on getting the braking right and then from that point onwards you're focusing as much as you can on getting the car into the corner apex and from the corner apex like I've said that's usually the point where you want to accelerate and when I mean accelerate I don't mean go full throttle right away I mean like that transition that smooth weight transfer transition from Braking and no throttle inputs usually to getting back on the throttle and with these cars in high speed corners It's quite easy to go on throttle. You don't need to worry, but especially in slow speed corners the weight transfer and corner Acceleration like out of the corner is super important and what you always need to think of there. We will get into this on track is Don't hold your steering angle like let's say it's a 90 degree corner. Is that 90 degree? I think it's not. Oh, no, it is <laughs> So I'm holding my steering wheel 90 degrees, which you cannot see. If you accelerate with that, you will just understeer. Like, it's a smooth pro progress process, you know what I mean, of accelerating. And the more you turn the throttle, the more you open the steering wheel. At some point, the steering wheel is at such an angle where you literally cannot spin and don't get any understeer anymore, that you can just, like, floor it and you don't have any wheel spin. That's, in the end, what you want to go for. But let's go on track. Let's have a look at it, um, because in the end, all this talking doesn't benefit you at all if I don't show you what I mean. The reason why I picked Imola is there are many corners with either a little bit of an angle or with heavy braking zones. Like turn one, you have to position your car right before doing anything else. And then you have a brake. In turn four, that's the only exception where you literally braked right at the uh, apex, I think. One, two, well, if we count this, then it's turn Ah, you see what I mean, like, here we position our car in the middle, hit the apex and accelerate out of it. Really good to focus on that, and also because it's a lot of chicanes, and chicanes are probably the trickiest thing aside from hairpins. And aside from that, we even have one hairpin, so I highly recommend you guys, if you want to learn about all of these things, take Imola as a good practice track. So, why I want to focus quickly on this hairpin, this is not exactly what I'm talking about yet, but in this hairpin you can see what I mean with accelerating out of a corner and opening up the steering wheel at the apex. You can see, even there I was a bit too slow, caught a bit of understeer and then oversteer. Um, you always want to focus on opening up the steering wheel as early as you can to accelerate out of a corner in every single scenario. So here the same thing. With the apex and then we open up the steering wheel to accelerate and those little things they matter a lot that's why i want you guys to focus on breaking point and then the apex because with the apex as soon as you hit the breaking point and you break you will focus immediately at the corner apex from apex to apex to apex to apex and that's exactly what you need and um so first thing is of course the breaking points most people will tell you look at the braking marker over there look at this over there look at this over there and to start off this is good like for me i don't really look at these things i literally look either straight ahead or already into the corner apex so literally into the corner where the curb is um but let's say you're completely new to this and which you probably will be because otherwise you would not be watching this video you want to search for a spot somewhere and not a shadow. Please don't look out for shadows because shadows change. And then you will be confused as soon as there's maybe clouds or something else. Shadows change, so don't look out for those things. Look for points that you can take. For example, the wall here on the right when it ends, you might start breaking. Another thing to consider is your camera settings. Like what works for me right now and what kind of points I'm looking for doesn't mean that it will work exactly 100% for you. So please, if you want to use my breaking points, kind of copy most things like the camera settings because visual stuff changes how you feel about like when you're breaking. Like let's, let's say for example here, you break right before the 50 here, um, right before the 50 meter board. You will see that if we now go into this corner, I focus on the 50 meter board. So first of all, we're taking the correct lines here, now looking at to opening and straightening the car 
but we break straight at the 50 we break look for the corner apex and go through it and that's already it for turn one then here as well 50 meter board or turn in or apex like in this corner you actually focus more on turn in because you you actually turn in or you break in this corner you break right at the corner apex you don't break hard you continue that breaking process for the next corner and here before the 50 more like 75 meters it's like these kind of things like for example here you hear me break right here this is right before the apex and we focus more on the exit here like here you hear me picking up the throttle because that is the apex of this corner section for me then here you can see like right after this like little tarmac area stops I break so in between that and the 50 meter board maybe it's a bit more accurate on this camera that i like if you look for the left the left side of the braking marker like underneath my face cam right here wait where is it down here this 50 meter board can be your um kind of breaking point but like if you're like what should we look out for the corner apex marcel thing with the corner apex you get a feel for it like you look into this corner okay you see right here this corner, you're looking for the middle of it. So we're looking for exactly this point. And that's, you can hear what I mean with, as soon as you hit the apex, you want to accelerate. Listen to the engine. That's the moment where it picks up again. Maybe we can even see that a bit better on the KPH. Yeah, you can see at this point, it's at 109 at the lowest. And that's where we pick it up again right away 210 and we open the steering wheel gradually right it's not like you're staying like this you're literally opening the steering wheel gradually and i want you guys to all try these things out i cannot 100 percent tell you what's the right breaking point for you my track guides give you quite a little bit of an insight we can go into it more detail if you want videos on where every single breaking point is for dries and wets on every single track there would be so much content if you guys want to see it let me know um but literally this is what i'm telling you you're probably expecting half an hour video of me explaining now what to look out for no it's not that complex like i said you want to keep things basic and believe in not over simplifying uh, over thinking stuff you want to simplify things like for example here let's go into this corner again I don't even know where my breaking point is without going into it full speed. I guess it's like when the curb starts on the left. Right before the 50, yeah. Um, let's have a quick look in the replay. It's probably easier to tell. Yeah. So here, for example, you couldn't be like, okay, we're driving past the 50. So it's a bit less accurate, but you have to get a feel for it. I'm also not perfectly on it right now. Like I would probably change it a tiny bit all the time when i'm practicing more and more but as soon as i hit the braking i continue trail braking but look into the corner you know you look into the corner to hit that apex hit the next apex and with that automatically your corner exits will be determined and i want you guys to keep that on and practice it i know it will be frustrating trust me you will fail and fail and fail and fail but keep that racing line off and if you really need it to warm up then do it like if you're used to the racing line Warm up with the racing line and then turn it off, but don't go back. As soon as you're warmed up, don't go back. Get used to it. I know it will suck and you will be slower, but over time you will get used to it. It's a whole process of just doing it. Literally, that's it. Do it. Just use these tips. Focus on breaking point and the apex, which will then automatically determine your turning point and also your acceleration point out of the corner. And you will be good to go after a while you will get used to it i promise you um bear with me believe in yourself i did it so many other people did it and there's no reason why you couldn't um so just do it and let me know in the comments how you get on with it one more corner here so for example here like right when i don't see that 100 meter board anymore or like this this black box on the left here like underneath the rolex sign this is where i break you can hear that for example these kind of things are easy to tell like you can see okay it's gone and you break i'm not looking at it but if you start off with it you want to look out for these things and then break because it will make it more consistent for you 
Um, but then again, if I would have a field of view which would look different, let's let me show you. Right now, my camera settings these are just not fully updated. I will do another separate video on this. If I put it to let's say zero, if you would have zero field of view, and we would go to the instant replay. Just so you understand what I mean with the camera settings, it will change. You see, it already happens before we hit that blackboard. Like the whole perception of the track is different. So please, I will upload a full updated settings on uh, settings video on my wheel settings on everything in a couple of days. Um, don't expect everything that I do to work exactly for you with the breaking points because I have different settings than you do. And if not, then for this video, copy what I have here, um, which was worth 20 field of view, so minus 20 field of view because it's the slowest or feels the slowest might help you as well. Um, but I actually have to leave. I have to get a COVID test now because later on I'm going to the barber and meeting also a friend. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any further questions about this technique, I wanted to make it as simple as possible. That's why I'm not really making it too long for you. But look out for these breaking points, corner apexes, and you will be good to go. Don't go back to the racing line. Please, don't go back. Just believe in yourself. Keep on practicing. Warm up maybe with the racing line and then turn it off forever. Don't go back. It will take time. You will suffer. But that's fine, okay? We all went through it. And you will too. I believe in you guys. Let me know in the comments how you get on with it. Um, also, if you liked that video and if it helped you out, consider giving it a like, subscribe, turn on the bell and check out the socials, Instagram and Twitter in particular. I also stream on Twitch. Um, I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Peace.